Alrighty, so this episode is going to be all about electrical. Mm-hmm. It's time to install a 12 volt system and we are stoked. Uh, so we went with Vitech World. We went with a 480 amp lithium caravan kit Elite. And this is one of their bigger kits on the market and it's perfect for our power needs. So we plan to live and work full time on the road. So we're going to be charging our laptops, camera gear. We're also going to be powering our fridge, our oven, our hot water system and just a few other bits and pieces. Yeah, and a washing machine. And a washing machine. <laughs> so, yeah, this is well needed. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, we'll, I'll go through what we've got here. We've got two... 240 amp lithium batteries that's going to be unreal we've got a 40 amp ac charger we've got a 40 amp dc charger we've got a 3000 watt inverter so that's going to be unreal mm. um and then yeah we also have a battery monitor and a few other fuses and stuff and we have a few solar panels on the way we have four uh, 150 amp solar panels so mm-hmm. 600 amps of solar on the roof mm. should be perfect for this kit yeah and power is something we have struggled with in the past in yeah, our four-wheel also. drive. So it's something we really wanted to make sure we had down pat and that we had all our power we needed for everything we're going to be powering. So, yeah. Alrighty, so just a bit of change in scenery today. We've come up the coast a few hours and our friend Dane is going to come help us connect the system. He's an electrician, so he'll make sure we we're using the correct wire sizes and connectors and things like that. Um, yeah, and it'll just make sure we don't, we don't stuff it up. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into it. Most of the wiring's done, the chargers, the inverter. Um, now I've pretty much just brought the box inside the bus and I'm just throwing the two batteries in. Just connecting it all up now and then yeah, we're pretty much good to go. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna run you through what we've got going on here got the BC charger and the AC charger. We're running eight gauge cable for both of those. Uh, we've also got the fuse block down here which we're running four gauge. Um, just because the fuse block can handle 100 amps, um, we thought we may as well run that, even though it probably won't ever have 100 amps running through it. Um, the connection between the batteries and the inverter, we've used zero gauge. That's the biggest cable we've used. Um, the only tips I have pretty much for setting this up is to make sure the the batteries, both batteries are fully charged before you connect them together and also make sure the two connecting wires are the exact same size. Um, and other than that, if you're, if you're worried about cable sizes or whatever, it doesn't hurt to go bigger. So the only things we have left to do now is run all the accessories to this fuse block which we'll do that as we go on through the build. Uh, we've got to connect the solar when we get around to installing the panels on the roof. Um, we also need an electrician to connect the 240 volt from the inverter to our power points to make sure that's done correctly and to standard. But yeah, so now I'm just going to grab this battery monitor that comes with the kit and I'm going to plug it in and see how we went. Alright, so we've set the battery monitor up. As you can see, 480 amps at 100%, 13.2 volts. Um, yeah, so it's all good. We've just got it running through the shunt back there and yeah. Alrighty, so that's a wrap for this video. I hope it helped you understand how to install this system. I'll link the kit for my tech world below in the description. Uh, feel free to check out their website because they have a lot more kits as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks guys, thanks for watching.